error disable recovery now in the in this section i'm going to show you uh, what what is exactly error disable recovery options and how it's going to help us in in getting back our interfaces back to up state by by when, whenever it comes into error disable state now in in some of the previous topics we have discussed something called error disable state now this error disable state, disable state normally comes if you violate any rules let's take an example i'm enabling some port security kind of feature and I'm limiting the maximum MAC address of three. If the fourth MAC address learns, I'm going to violate the rule, which means the violation of the rule has happened. And I want that particular port goes into error disabled state. Now, but if the port is put in error disabled state once the violation is done, or maybe you have enabled something called BPDU guard. When you enable some BPDU guard, uh, if, if that particular port fast port receives a BPD message, it's going to put the port into error disable state. Now, one option is to get back to this port into normal state by shutting down the interface and giving a no shutdown command, getting into the command line. That is something can be done manually. Now, there is an alternative for this. What we can do is we can, we can ensure that this particular port can come back to a normal normal state after a few seconds or we can define some specific time automatically and that can be done by using something called error disable recovery if the port goes into error disable state how we can recover back that interface into up state now if a specific port is in error disable state you will see that particular port in a different color orange color and we can verify the status by using show interface status or we can verify with a specific uh, interface like show interface interface name and the status messages or even you can verify with a command called show interface and the name of the interface you will see the interface is down and it is because it is an error disabled state now the reasons as i said for 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 the port going into error disabled state there are many many kind of things like duplex mismatch or the link flapping or we can, we can define those parameters or port security violation or if there is some UDLD failure or we, we have configured some broadcast terms limitations if it exceeds or we might be we might be using something called BPD guard feature and if that uh, if, if, if a port fast port receives a BPD message I want the port in I want the port to go into error disable state now the reason there are plenty of reasons for putting the port into error disable state now one option as I said you need to get back to the interface command line of the router or of, of the switch we need to give a command called shutdown and then back to no shutdown to recover the port back into into normal state now alternatively we can configure error disable recovery for the ports to come back automatically now by default this all these error disable options will be by default disabled here you can see these are all the error disable recovery causes we can configure either you can conf configure for specific thing like uh, BPD guard or security violation or some layer 2 guard what is the reason you know these are the reasons which you can use and you can specifically enable for specific uh, things like we can enable for BPD guard also now to re enable for specific a specific kind of violations we can go to the config mode and we can give a command called error disable recovery cause and in this case i'm enabling for bpd guard now which means if any port fast port now normally we use bpd guard if any port fast port receives a bpd message it's going to automatically put this port into error disable state and then i'm saying that this port goes into error disable state because of the bpd guard in that case it has to recover back after 120 seconds so which means after 120 seconds in it's it will see whether there is still a bpd message or not if there is no bpd messages coming in that case it will put the port back into up status into a normal working condition okay so we can configure these commands and once you enable this command if you verify show error disable recovery you will see this option as enable instead of disable because once you enable PPD guard for specific selected reason, a disabled reason, you will see them as enabled. And if you want, you can also enable for for all by by just using this command: error disabled recovery cause all. So it will automatically recover uh, all the supported reasons. We can say. 
and there are some specific show commands which will be useful for verification we can use show interface status and we can define some interface name f0 by uh, um, not there is one command like show interface f0 by 19 status which i use which will which will show you as error disabled state apart from that there are some other commands like show interface status error disabled it's going to show you all the local ports which are which are involved in the error disabled state and some details on that and even you can use show error disabled recovery which is going to show you the time a period after which the interface will be uh, enabled back and the default time for all is i think somewhere around 300 seconds and we can change this time once again and then also we can use a command called show error disable detect it shows the reason uh, reason for this error disable status messages